Hey guys, welcome to the Sharon Homestead. I'm Kat and today I'm bringing you a grocery haul. And I wish I could say it was epic, but the only thing that was epic about it is the price. Because inflation has hit Kentucky and it is crap. <laughs> we are a family of 10 and I spent about 400, no, $530 on groceries. I'm supposed to go under 400 or right at around $400 a week. And this week, inflation has just gone nuts. Like these eggs are usually, well, they were $3.30 for five dozen eggs. And now it's eleven eighty dollars for that. That's just one example of how crazy it's gotten. And so yeah, let me show you what I got. Um, we are mostly keto. I did get some things that were not keto and I'll show that, but mostly that's for the baby. And then I got like some chips for the kids that want chips. They wanted chips. So I got them some chips and yeah, let me just show you what I got. And then I'll tell you what we're going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner this week. And I was also going to say it is a little crazy looking because... Um, the kid that usually puts all the stuff on the counter for me, uh, she wasn't doing it today, um, because she came to the store with me, and so, yeah. My other kid, Jonathan, did this, and he's a wild man, and he, um, didn't exactly organize it. So it's gonna be a little bit all over the place, but we're just gonna do what we can with it. And I hope I get to everything, because it's kind of... <laughs> is kind of not great for my brain. Um, so I got six pack, and also the non-keto foods are all scattered throughout, so I can't really tell you what is what, but I'll try to, you know, tell you. I mean, obviously, shells and cheese are not keto, and um, goldfish are not keto. Golden rounds are not keto. So, anyways, that's that. Let's get on with it. So, I got two boxes of the golden rounds. It's mostly for the baby, not keto at all. <laughs> and then these are keto bars. They are these, I get these from Aldi. Caramel double chocolate crunch bars. And yeah, there's five bars in each box and the box is $5. And they're really delicious and everybody in the family loves them. So I get, I think I got six boxes. I didn't get any of the rice ones this week. I just got those ones. Um, the rice ones are a little bit more expensive and not as many people like them. Can I breathe? I got two packs of crispy oats. These ones at Aldi do not have any added sugar in them. They don't have any sugar at all. And then extra raisin, raisin bran. Um, unsweetened applesauce. That's mostly for the baby. And Carolina in the mornings. I got oatmeal for the... Ones who wake up really early. I have two to three kids who wake up at about 7 a.m. And then the rest of the house sleeps until about 9. So they have a couple hours where they're hungry. And I'm not going to make breakfast for the whole family that early. So I just make them, you know, uh, like some applesauce and some goldfish or some rolled oats. And then they eat breakfast with the rest of us as well. I found these and I got these for Wilder in the, in the store. Obviously, they're open. Mandalorian. We love Mandalorian. They've got little Mandalorians, um, little Grogu in the pod, and then goldfish. And those are really cute. But probably not worth the extra tiny splurge. But we were in the store with a baby, and we needed something. So that's what we got. And he loves Grogu, so he was happy to see little Grogu on there. Um... So like I said, this is all over the place. So there's salsa right here and raisins. And we got two things of coffee this week. I already had like pretty much one pack. So I didn't need to get three this week. And butter, got two packs of butter. Butter has gone up a whole dollar for a pack. That's just crazy. I can't even believe that. There are three no, they're $4 a pack instead of three. They used to be $2.97, now they're $3.97. And yum yum sauce. 
we're having chicken this week and um one of the things we have with chicken is the yum yum sauce and then let's see if i can get it out here um polynesian this stuff is really really good this stuff is sugar-free sauces and of course we love the barbecue sauce and then we're having hamburgers so i got ketchup we already had mustard and i got mayonnaise for the coleslaw and then I can't remember what this is for, but I got Parmesan. Um, three things of dehydrated strawberries. I make yogurt with this. And pure for the coffee. And then, oh, Jonathan also added in all the non-food items. So you'll get to see some of the stuff that I buy every week. Um, 80 bags of, um, 80 trash bags. And yes, we do pretty much use a box of these every single week because we take out the trash multiple times a day. We make a lot of trash. <laughs> We're a lot of people. And six boxes of shelves and cheese. So this is not something we barely ever eat, but we haven't had it in a long time. So I decided to get some. I don't know when we'll eat it this week. We may not eat it until next week. Who knows? We'll see. I think I already mentioned the goldfish, but we got goldfish. Uh, let's go up here to the bacon. I got 12 packs of bacon. 12 packs of bacon, that's for breakfast and for dinners. We're having Brussels sprouts and bacon um, a couple times. And then bacon for breakfast, I think three times. Bacon and eggs. And then six things of cottage cheese, that's for lunch every day. We have cottage cheese with lunch every day. We got a bag full of monsters and it's spilling out. Uh, I got David's purple ones and my green ones. And then 120 eggs. I only needed 96 eggs, but buying them in these bulk containers is better. And I'll just make some deviled eggs. And also I can probably, instead of making two packs of bacon one day, I can make one. And then I'll be able to stretch this budget out a little bit more because I'm going to have to start doing that. Um, and then when I do that, usually I add something else in, like some fruit or something for breakfast. And we got a bunch of drinks again. Um, Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, Pepsi Zero Sugar, Coke Zero Sugar. David's been liking this lately, so I got him those, um, instead of the orange soda. And then some of the older girls like coke instead of pepsi so sprite this is for the babies the smaller ones not the baby um but he does drink some sprite but it's mostly for carolina and owen because they will get really wild if they have caffeine and especially at night time i like them to have that um like at dinner time if they have their soda at dinner and mountain dew zero sugar i think that's all the drinks and so now we can move on to the rest of this food. Uh, I got two things of milk, which I'm guessing this was from bedtime. And bananas. I got a whole bunch of bananas. Because I've been having some bananas um, pretty much every day. Okay, so what I'm doing with these chips, I was going to get the, like, travel size bags for, like, school Lunchbox size, I don't know what they're called. Um, but those boxes of chips are really expensive. So what I'm going to do instead is take these bags and I bought zipper bags. Oh my gosh. I bought zipper bags and I'm going to separate them out into um, travel size bags. So that they can have one with lunch or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, so I got the cow cooked jalapeno chips, pork rinds are obviously keto, um, I got Glacier Ranch, um, nacho cheese, I got two bags of each of those things, and then Garden Straws, that's the baby in Carolina, really like those, so I got those, and then I got Flaming Hot Cheetos, which has already been eaten out of, and then the pork rinds for our regular snacking with the salsa that I showed you over there. 
And there's the other Glacier Ranch chips. Then for fruit this week, um, the bananas I got, and then four things of strawberries. These were $4 each. So that was my like fruit budget for the week was the bananas and the strawberries. That was, oh, and then I got apples, which were kind of expensive. These bags were $5 each. So yeah, I went over budget $10 on fruit. Um, these are jalapenos and those were really, really cheap. They were like 59 cents for all of these. So not bad on that. I got two cabbages for coleslaw and Brussels sprouts for the bacon and Brussels sprouts. And then I got as many bags of petite carrots as I had. I think they had four bags. So I got four bags of those. Those are like $2 a bag. They used to be a dollar a bag. So they've gone up double. And these were at Aldi. They were $3 a bag. And at Walmart, they were $4 a bag. So I saved a little bit with that. I got squirters for our yogurt, which brings me to the yogurt. This is the yogurt I buy for keto. It is really expensive. It's almost $6 a jar or a container. And we need two containers for breakfasts and with fruit. Usually I'll slice up the stuff and also the dehydrated fruit. So, yes, this and this makes really good yummy, yummy, yummy yogurt. So I got four of those yogurts. And more meat. I got chicken thighs. One package for each meal. So two chicken meals this week. And hamburgers twice this week. And then the bacon and Brussels twice, twice this week. So then... For lunches, well, I got mozzarella cheese because I have everything except the mozzarella and cream cheese that I needed to make for rolls. So I'm going to make those again this week. Um, six things of steak for every day at lunch. We have steak, um, vegetables, and cottage cheese. So there's the steak for the week. I just get this from Aldi. It's just stew meat. And I make one container, three bags of veggies, and one container of cottage cheese. And I forgot to talk about the diapers. I got diapers at Aldi this week. Usually I get them at Walmart. But Walmarts have been having problems with their wipes. And I'm not chancing it, so I've been getting it. I, I got Huggies brand, but I just decided to get these this week. And I showed you the cream cheese already. And, okay, Wilder got some clothes. He needed some sleepers, and these were cute, and they actually had his size for once. And then I got paper plates, because those are my best friend lately. And then over here by the freezer is the 18 bags of California medley, and six bags of steamed broccoli, and that's for chicken and broccoli, which is two dinners this week. So for our meals this week, for breakfasts, we're having bacon, eggs, and cheese three times, or four times, I mean, and then yogurt and fruit twice. And then um, for lunches, every day is steak, vegetables, and cottage cheese. And then for dinners, we have chicken and broccoli twice, um, hamburgers, coleslaw, and carrot fries twice. And then bacon, Brussels sprouts, and a vegetable on the side. That's also twice. So that is our grocery haul and our meal plan for the week. It is fairly epic, but the price was the most epic part about it. I can't believe how much. Um, like when we moved here, and even until maybe even the beginning of this year, one gallon of milk was a dollar. And now it's $3.29. So that's just a lot of money. And yeah, it's crazy. So we are reevaluating our budget this week so that when I go shopping next week, I spend a lot less. Um, we're reevaluating and probably making some new, some new uh, dinner plans or meal plans. 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy, <laughs> scattered, crazy, crazy meal plan and grocery haul. And I hope to see you in the next video in a few days. And thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.